A soil test is an analysis of your soil to determine deficiencies or contaminants which would prevent your garden from reaching its maximum crop yield. In other words, it's a fertility test for your soil. Soil test kits can be purchased for a nominal fee at home and garden centers, local feed stores, or through your local extension office. And it's a simple process. All you do is follow the instructions on the bag, mail the bag in with your sample, and in a couple of weeks you'll receive your results as well as recommendations for how to improve your soil, right? Yes. Okay, so let's talk about taking samples. How many, how many samples of soil do we want to take to give a good idea, a good cross-section of our garden? Well, it depends how big your, your, your uh, garden or truck patch is or whatever you're testing. It should be a representative sample. You should take, you should take multiple samples depending on the size. I took about 10 cores out of a, I don't know, what a half of an acre. Okay, and just random areas? Yeah, as long as long as this as long as the topography and the soil type is consistent, okay. then yeah, then it's random. But if there's market differences in the land or management practices in the in the past, then you need to separate. separate okay, it. so you took a bunch of samples, mm -hmm. and then you put the dirt in a bucket and mix it up. Yes, I put the soil in the bucket, and I used soil. a yeah, and I used the soil <laughs> probe that I got from uh, the local feed store, Ole Valley Feed, and. Uh, so the soil probe is good because it, it takes you down into the, the root layer or the, or the plow layer, okay? So that's basically your top, your top soil, soil profile. After you get a core from multiple, each area, then you put it in a bucket like this, okay? So there's 10, 12 cores in here from throughout this um, you know, uh, vegetable truck patch of ours. Then I'll mix it up to make sure that everything is you know, as homogeneous as possible for the sample. Okay, once that's all mixed up, the drier the better, but this is, it's not too bad actually. Well, if, if you just had like a really soaking rain or something, do you dry the soil yeah, before you, you send it? First of all, you should wait then. If you don't have, if you don't have that much to, to okay. do, wait to take the sample. <laughs> and, uh, and if it is sopping wet because you have, you have a lot of samples to take, then let it dry out. Okay. okay. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary, but that would probably be a good idea. Okay, so what's the recommended amount that the lab is looking for? No, well, I think you just fill up the bag. I think no, you just hand it <laughs> with, a, with a cup. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Eight ounces, there you go. Okay, now the paperwork that you fill out, is this crop specific? Yes, it's crop specific because each crop is going to have different nutrient requirements. I see. So once you complete the paperwork and your sample is in the bag and you mail the bag to the lab, the results that you get back will be the recommendations according to which crops you want to grow. Right. The recommendation Perfect. will be based on crop type. Perfect. And okay. yield and the yield that you expect. Okay. Well, let's let's bag up a sample then. That's about a cup. A little bit more for good measure. Okay. All right, so we'll fill out this paperwork for our vegetable garden. We've got our soil sample. It'll go in our envelope and it will ship off to the Penn State University Park Lab. And we'll get our results and recommendations in a couple of weeks. Stay tuned.